Hi everyone, we're going to find the critical numbers of the function g of t equals t to the fourth power plus t cubed plus t squared plus 1. So the first thing we're going to do is find the derivative and see if we have um, a number c in the domain such that um, the f prime of c equals 0, in our case we're using x, or whether it doesn't exist. So let's first take the derivative of g of t, and that's going to give you 4t cubed plus 3t squared plus 2t. Now according to, to our steps, we're going to go ahead and let g prime of t equals 0, and uh, set this as 0. I'm going to go ahead and factor out a t. And that gives you uh, 4t squared plus 3t plus 2. You set each of these pieces to 0, so we have t equals 0. We also have t equals 4t squared plus 3t plus 2. Now I can't factor this, so I have to use the quadratic uh, formula. So I have a equals 4, b equals 3, and c equals 2. So let's do that here. So we're going to have um, x equals negative b. So let me just go ahead and write the formula down for you. Uh, b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So filling this in, we get x equals square root of, whoops, getting a little head, negative 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 4ac divided by 2 times 4, which is 8. Now, if you look at this before I move on to the next slide, uh, let's look at the discriminant here. This is going to be uh, 9 minus 32, which is negative. So you have a negative uh, value in here. Your discriminant is negative. So basically, since um, the discriminant is negative, the 4t plus 3t plus 2 equals 0 has no real solutions. I kind of forgot what it was, but let's just write it. I think it was something like, uh, it was negative 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus, uh, I forgot what it was, uh, uh, 9 minus 32. And we don't have to complete all of this, and this was 8. So basically, since this is negative, there's no real solutions for this portion. We do have one critical value, which is that t equals 0. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.